Hello everybody. Last episode we rescued Irbeth and we also found Regil, uh, the Death Knight commander. And uh, they've both gone down to the main camp at the bottom of the hill. But we still have a few things to take care of here in the chapel. Uh, the next thing being the demon that took off with Irbeth. Uh, I don't recall his name. What was it? I wrote it down. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. His name is Nilkaneth. So we've got to fight him. And uh, I believe he's supposed to be at, at the top, which is what uh, we were told by Zacharias, and we are at the top. So uh, let's go ahead and see if uh, we can get that done. And then, of course, we have to get back down the mountain. So hopefully that goes without incident. Let me see. Two, uh, two, keep it up! Yes. <laughs> well, how do you like my soldiers? Oh, so much prettier than yours, aren't they? <laughs> and my games, so much more fun! <laughs> Playing soldiers? How old are you? Eight? Darling, look who's here. It's the commander come to return what she stole from you. It should have been you in command of this army. And these powers, they should have been yours. Oh, darling, why so sad? Oh, please, sweetheart, say something. When you're like this, it makes me sad too. You don't want me to be sad, do you? Come on, smile. I did everything you wanted, even better than you wanted. The fools who humiliated you got what they deserved. Can you hear them scream? And now their commander will be torn to pieces along with them. Oh, it's sure to be a fine show. Just for the two of us. And we have the best seats in the house. This is too much. They deserve death, and what happened in Canabris was fair punishment. But this... this depraved torture... Uh, order your creature to finish them off, and we'll be done here! Sweetie, don't tell me what to do. We were too soft on them, I think. Just remember the way they humiliated you. And for what? For your part in a heroic feat? And now they would take Dresden from you? Each of them deserves a hundred deaths. The only thing unfair about this is that we can kill them only once. <sighs> there, there now. Don't pout. Kiss me, my love, and let's enjoy the spectacle. A tongue resembling a fat crimson slug crawls out of Monaco's mouth and reaches out to Staunton's face. The dwarf turns away, and the demon's tongue leaves a moist trace of slime on his cheek. Hey! Hey! What are you looking at? Look at me! I'm right here! Do I need to bite your soldiers' heads off for you to notice me? I can do it, you know. <laughs> Minago, call off your puppet and come down here now. But why would I ever do that? You'd better come up to me. Not all of you, of course. Just your head will suffice. Nalkineth, my dear, bring me her head. The monster looks at you, and for a moment you feel once more that there's no one here beside the two of you. You feel his power, the same power granted to you. You realize that a battle is coming the likes of which you've never endured before, but your opponent will soon realize the same. You feel his power and his fear. Yeah, he's not sure. He's, he's kind of a joker, but yeah. A moment later, he strikes. Go.
Crusaders, <laughs> we killed you once already. <laughs> well, they are back for more. Thankfully, they're on my side. All right, is there any way to assess the situation here? We got, we got some skellies over there. We are going to try to get a little closer. I'm not sure. This must be the ring of influence for this dude. No, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go up. As close as we can. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna have any melees going on. These guys can take care of all the melee stuff, maybe. But let's bring everybody up to the line. Keeping together is not always a good thing. Let's uh, put the seal over here. Okay, so the skellies are moving up there. Okay. They are hopefully going to keep him a little busy. Minio, why don't you come over here? Get from a little different angle. Let's see. Um, we've got Sila now. Sila needs to stay back. I'm gonna put her. I'm gonna put her over here somewhere. Put Lon back here. Back. Lon, you go there. Can you fire on him? You can. All right. Let's see how you do, dear. Hopefully, you can damage with your bow. It's unbearable. The roars of Nilkaneth, the hissing of the ghouls, the moans of the wounded and the dying. All this melds into a terrifying cacophony, an agonizing song of the tormented world. This shouldn't be happening. Shouldn't be happening. It won't happen. Anger, pain, fear, all emotions subside. Boundless, triumphant power rises from somewhere within you. Now you only feel... I'm going with hope. I don't want to go with rage because it said emotions subside. So rage would not fit that. Resolution is giving up. So we're not doing that. Hunger and calm. Uh, I guess, you know what? Let's go with calm. A blinding flash illuminates the battlefield, lighting up the ghouls with their bare teeth. Rage and terror flash on the demon's twisted muzzle, and the despair on the people's faces melts into tranquility. Really? Oh, shoot! Did we get a buff? What happened? I don't see a buff. All right, you stand over here, Sila. Kind of out of the way. Out of his sphere of interest, anyway. Okay, buddy, I don't think you're going to be much help. Why don't you come over here? and this stalker. Although these guys are all going for them. Which is really good. Alright, so we are going to do that also. Let's hit this guy with my fire. Five, two, go. We're 
gonna switch to a bow. Let's hit this dude with evil eye for his armor class. Oh, he saved. I can't work on him. Okay. Um. So, seal. Let's do protection for oh, evil for everybody, please. He's not immune. I believe he's, uh... Yeah, 10, 10, and 10 on the, uh... Energy resistance. Wait. So, I think we're okay. Get him with that. Alright, Lon, you did such a great job before. Let's try this again. Can you get rid of this loser? Pretty good. All right, you're gonna smite him with evil. Oh no, you're gonna have to get up there to do it. Uh. Oh no, you're not. Okay. You smite. He seems to be very distracted. He's not really noticing us at all, which is a good thing. fight Minago. That's going to be interesting. All right, let's do another one of these. Uh, I want all these skellies keeping him busy. I gotta get rid. Okay, we only got one left. Sweet. All right. And he's actually not damaged right now. Okay, um... Let's see, fire. I don't want her getting up close. Let's battle spirit everybody, which is going to help with rolls, I think. All right, so seal. Let's see. Samorana Sentence. We're pretty much covered in all the buffs I can do. If we need them. Oh, great. The Crusader is dealing damage. The guy's almost dead. How about hitting him with a snowball, Ninio? Yes. Oh, you missed. <laughs> no. Alan will get him. Alan needs a turn here in a second. I think what we're going to do, though, Ron, why don't you just get rid of this cool? We're going to let the Crusaders take care of this demon. There's so many around. Oh. Are there more? No. Ready? Oh my god, they got him! Minato! Minato! Deceived me, you wretch! You promised I'd become. Become! How? This shouldn't have. Why? Staunton, what is this? What should we do? I can't do anything with these swords. It's no use. Darling, please do something. Oh, I wonder if that light. Uh, affected the demons in some way internally. Like now she says she's got sores and stuff. So, oh, interesting. Uh, calm down. I said quiet. First just get us out of here. Then we'll decide what to do. Right. Right. 
Let's fly away quickly. Oh no, they're gonna get away again. <laughs> Nolkaneth lets out a long grunt and freezes at your feet, like a dirty heap of bloody fur. It grows quiet. No roaring or shrieking of monsters. No moaning of the wounded. No clamor of weapons. The dawn rises over the desecrated chapel. The torturer is no more. But what happened before he died? Yeah. It looked like what I heard happened at the Grey Garrison. A flash of power and a change. I've never seen anything like it in my life. There was a frightening beauty to it. I agree. Not quite sure what what's going on there. What do you feel? Power? New abilities? All of this is so... exciting. I need a mattress. Uh, preferably a magical one, so it will fly along wherever I go. <laughs> and be ready if you start shaking again. It, it's no fun getting thrown to the rocks. Sorry, Elon. I, it's not like I have control all the time. I'll be damned. That power again. It's so strange. It doesn't seem like Iomade's intervention. The gods rarely interfere in mortal affairs, and never twice in a row. That preposterous unscientific power again. Sooner or later, I will research it, categorize, and describe its effects. Or else I'm not Nenio, the greatest scientist on Galarion. <laughs> Well, the power did come to me again. I think this is a sign that we're on the right path. The rays of the rising sun light up the gruesome battlefield, where once again you feel the strange surge of power. The road awaits. Oh my god, look at this! We got another mythic level! Okay, okay, okay. We're going to have to level everybody up, but before we do that, uh, we need to loot. Oh, he had some good stuff on him. We're going to have to check that out as well. Anybody else? Yes, we need the health potions. Until we get off this rock. Oh, wow. There's some loot over here. Check over here. So now we have to go down to the base of the camp and talk to Nevia. here. Wow. Okay. Picked up all the loot we're gonna pick up. back in here where it's safe. Alright, alrighty, everybody's leveled up and we are ready to leave this place. Uh, so, let's start our descent. Looks like we could go down right here. That's not the way we came, is it? Oh, yes, it is the way we came. Okay, and we're just going to go back the way we came. And uh, let's check our map, though. Yeah, there's a lot over here we didn't do that looks like it doesn't end over here also. So this place might be bigger than we think. Um, but I may want to come back and do that another time because we have been here forever and I really would like to move on 
So let's head on back. Talk to Nevia. We are here back at the camp. We uh, actually looked around here. Oh. Regil looks at Socia with contempt. Despite their difference in height, it seems it's the gnome who's looking down on his counterpart. <laughs> uh, you wanted to ask me about something? I'm listening. And thank you for finding the time to listen to me. It regards a personal matter. Uh, there was a woman in your squad. She perished covering our retreat. I don't even know her name. But she carried this shield. It once belonged to my brother. Do you happen to know how she came to have it? A personal matter? Of course. How silly of me to expect a relevant question. Her name was Marenta. And she turned out to be a better soldier than I thought. Too bad she still wasn't good enough to survive. She transferred to us from the Order of the Nail, the Expirators chapter, if memory serves me right. I wasn't interested in her reasons, and she never gave any. Such transfers are not forbidden, though they are not encouraged. In any case, she already had the shield when she came to us. And the only way to find out where she got it from is to ask at her former chapter. But the gods only know where they are and which demons they're slaughtering. Thank you for your answer, Paralictor. It seems I have reached a dead end. This isn't the end, Socile. You can still look for those knights. Well, perhaps if the goddess helps me. But where are they? Where do I even begin? If only I had a chance to talk to her while she was alive. I sound so selfish. She died, and all I talk about is what she could have done for me. But it's not only that. This shield was Trevor's treasure. He wouldn't have given it away for no reason. How did this woman get it? Did she deceive him? Did she kill him? Or perhaps the opposite? Maybe she meant so much to him that he gave her the shield voluntarily. I keep mulling it over, trying to understand, trying to imagine what happened to my brother and what role Lorenta played in it. If she was still alive, maybe I'd have to exact my vengeance for my brother on her. Or maybe we'd sit next to each other and she'd tell me all about their adventures together. She might have become my mortal enemy or a sworn sister. But none of that matters now. She's dead. She's just dead. Do you understand? Perhaps we'll meet those expirators. I shall pray that we do. But I'm not going to hold my breath. I need to gather my thoughts. All right, so we got that one done. All right, so we were going to check over here for anything interesting. It looks like it's pretty much... That's the edge. Let's talk to Nivia. And Nivia looks at you with apprehension. She warily reaches out for your shoulder, but then jerks her fingers away. That flash... This time, it was even brighter than it was over at the Great Garrison. And you've changed again. Erebeth emerges from behind Anevia's back. Her body's covered in bandages. Her hair's threaded with gray. And her voice is weak. It's as if she's aged a decade. You still came for me. For us. I thought it was the end. 
Commander, I admit, I never believed in miracles, but now I know why the Queen put you in command. Today, you did the impossible again right before our eyes. You pulled your people from a demon's mouth, opened the road to dress for us, and you saved my family again. We've lost so many people, but our army is still in fighting form. Yes, many died, and even more will die. Today, tomorrow, every day until the end of this war. But every day there's another chance to save somebody. She gives you a carefree smile. Oh, I hope these would-be crusaders will not easily forget the lesson this knight has taught them. This knight has left scars on our soldiers, on their bodies, and in their hearts. But it also showed them that the power of demons is not boundless. We can destroy the demons, and we will. You know who's being quiet is Queen Gallifrey. She hasn't said a word. Fighting the demons on their own territory is better than waiting for them to come to us like they did in Canabras. We're on the right path. It might not be the easiest climb, but we will be fine. Hey, why all the glum faces? We won! Come on! To victory! If we're finished here, I suggest we head back to the camp. The stench here is horrendous. Besides, I wouldn't mind catching up on some sleep. Oh, Camellia, always thinking of yourself, aren't you, dear? Good for you. <laughs> is that right, Your Majesty? Are you tired? Should we put in a complaint that the demons didn't greet you with the proper etiquette? <laughs> oh, God, Lon, she's going to be offended by that, dear. She's a royal. Should have more respect. As if you know anything about proper etiquette, Lon. I will remember this night for the rest of my life. I've always wanted to throw a bash in a church. I suppose this counts. Oh, good, the queen is going to put in a word here. She whispers, though, so only I can hear. This beast possessed a terrible unholy power, and still it fell at your feet. I was right about you. You are more than just a mighty force. You are our hope for me, for us, for all of Galarian. I'll get the survivors back to camp. Let them rest up a bit. It was a very scary night, but we still got Dresden ahead of us. Oh man, Dresden's gonna be even worse, I bet. Yeah, we're not quite ready for that. We've got some army stuff. We've got some other places to visit. I don't know. Do we get a chance? Or did I mess that up? Like I messed up the Hell Knights. I don't know. Alright, well, I suppose we're done here. So, let us get out of the dodge. I'm gonna collect everything. we got 136 items. We're going to be encumbered, gang. As the story unfolds, you draw closer to events that have the power to change everything. Some quests and locations may become unavailable. Proceed when you're ready. Okay, so I don't want to go to Dresden yet. We have other stuff to do. We're overloaded and cannot travel. Nice! All right, well, we're gonna have to drop some stuff. We can't travel at all? Oh yeah, we can. We're just gonna make it slowly. There we go. 